Hi, yeah, this is a second vid for the first lesson. It says a cyclist travelling downhill accelerates uniformly at 1.5 metres per second squared. So that's A. If her initial velocity, that's it. So if her initial velocity at the top of the hill is 3, so, v is, uh, so mu is 3, find how far she travels in 8 seconds. Whenever you do these, I always set them out the same. Just put the S, the U, the V, the A, the T down the side. So how far she travels, I want S. I know that U is 3 metres per second. V, I haven't got a clue about. I don't know the speed when she hits the bottom. I mean, I'm not asked about it, so I'm not going to that. The acceleration is 1.5 meters per second squared, and the time is 8 seconds. The way I choose, I've got five equations here. The way I choose this one is based on the bit that I don't have or don't care about. I don't care about V, so I choose the equation. without the V. So if I look down the equations, the top one's got a V in it, the second one's got a V in it, but the third one hasn't got a V in it. So I'm going to write down the equation that I'm using. So S equals UT plus a half, actually I might put it down here, uh, plus a half AT squared. So S is three lots of eight, plus a half times 1.5 times 8 squared. If you put that in your calculator, exactly how you see it, it gives me 72 metres. Exact same setup on number two. So it says here, how far does she travel before reaching a velocity of 7. So I don't know what the time is now. So S is what I want to know. U is 3 metres per second. V uh, is 7 metres per second, because that's the speed that I'm at. A is 1.5 metres per second squared. T, I'm not bothered about. So let's have a look which equation hasn't got T in it. Well, that's the bottom one. So I'm going to use v squared equals u squared plus 2as. So v is 7 squared, u is 3 squared plus 2 times 1.5 times s. So I've got 49 is 9 plus 3 lots of s. So if I take the 9, I've got 40, it's 3s, and then divide through by the 40, it's going to give me 13 and a third metres s. You kind of wonder with like metres if you should do it as metres and centimetres, because you know I know I'm to put things to free so think I can put some of that down. Right, so there's a question for you here. So it tells you what the acceleration is. It tells you the time. So I've got acceleration. I've got time. I've got the velocity at B. So that's the V number, because that's at the end. And that wants to work out what U is, and that wants to work out what S's. So you set it all out, use the two equations, see what you get. So pause it and have a look, so you're not just copying. Yeah. Okay. Or maybe this one would be better to write that. S equals. equals. So in this case, I've got all the information here. So you should tell me when you want for that one.
Example two, I'm going to stop it there and I'll do another one. There's nothing after that, is there? It's just questions. Oh no, there is an example three. Oh, go on, keep going, keep going. Uh, nope, I'm stopping.